Good evening, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'd like to share with you my excitement uh, about one of the two winning works uh, of this uh, nice prize that is one of the most prestigious architecture awards uh, for a specific build work, uh, which is the great Gabriel Garcia Market Library uh, by Suma Arquitectura. It's an office from Madrid and the building is in Barcelona. I'm also glad to hear about the excellent Radio School from Andres Jaque in Madrid that has been one of the five finalists. I'd like to thank, uh, as my colleague did, to the organizers for the invitation uh, to this event with the colleagues from the European Union, with the SIVA Museum and Mies van der Rohe Foundation. Thank you, Anna. And uh, as they said this week, the directors of architecture have gathered here in Brussels under the Belgian presidency from the European Union to discuss about the pan-European challenge related to the constant transformation of the territories. And many of these uh, challenges are condensed in the project of the Gabriel Garcia Market Library. And in a quote from the great uh, Colombian writer in his book, Love in the Time of Cholera, human beings are not born forever the day their mothers give birth to them, but they live force them to give birth to themselves over and over again. So that's true, changes are many and their pace is fast. And for example, in Barcelona, the in inhabitants and many immigrants who arrived in Catalonia in 1950s were essential to the transformations of the neighborhoods of San Martí de Provençals, La Verneda and La Pau. And thanks to them, the first library was opened and was operational for uh, 54 years and now there is a new one that it's this one that we have seen 10 uh, times larger and uh, above all a meeting place and source of um, pride for all the residents and the neighborhood and the city had incredibly changed because of this building so this is why uh, the so-called capacity for change of architecture has a direct impact in the quality of people's life. So our conception of building encompasses more than just construction. It also involves sensory experiences, harmonious integration in the urban fabric and landscape, inclusion or circular economy and energy efficiency. And all these notions have been put together in the principle of quality in the architecture, which actually responds to a legal concept in Spain, thanks to the high quality architecture law that we approved in 2022, proving our commitment with architecture. And another evidence of this allegiance is the recently opening of the Casa de la Arquitectura, House of Architecture in Madrid, conceived as a common space that places value on architecture and as integral part of society. And uh, as you know, uh, we are very happy that we will host uh, Miss uh, Awards exhibition in a few months after the, the opening in, in Barcelona. And well, this morning in the European Directors meeting, we were discussing what is quality in architecture because it's only through quality that we can build our pace forward sustainability. And it's true that time has made us more aware of our tremendous uh, vulnerability to global environmental, economic, social and health risks, which are directly related to our built environment and affect people and Evelyn so to confront this from governments, we work to achieve the goals of the United Nations uh, urban agenda, the specific European urban agenda. And in Spain, we have this Spanish uh, urban agenda. And I think this library is a global example in this uh, regards in terms of health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, affordable and no pollution energy, decent world and economic role and along, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And just to conclude, I would like to take this opportunity to invite you to Barcelona on May the 14th to hear what the authors and clients 
of the winning and finalist works and the jury share with us and to celebrate their achievements at the Mies van der Rohe Pavilion. And this would be a very a fantastic opportunity to visit this library and of course if afterwards you want to come to Madrid and visit uh, La Casa de la Arquitectura you are all invited so hope to see you there and thank you very much <laughs>